Reproduction in humans involves sex. But what do these words sex and reproduction actually mean? Is my understanding of these terms the same as yours? I'll start with the word reproduction. In science, reproduction is the biological process by which new individuals called offspring are produced from parents. Reproduction is a fundamental feature of all life, but not all reproduction is the same. In nature, two forms of reproduction occur, asexual and sexual reproduction. The difference between these forms of reproduction comes down to one simple question, one parent or two. In asexual reproduction, there is only one parent. This single parent gives rise to offspring that are genetically identical to the parent. Bacteria and viruses are two good examples of organisms that reproduce asexually. In contrast, sexual reproduction occurs in humans and requires two parents, a male and a female, to produce an offspring. Males produce sperm and females produce eggs and each of them contains different genes from each parent. When sperm and egg meet at fertilisation, these different genes mix. As a result, the child produced is genetically different from both of its parents. Okay, that's reproduction defined, but what about sex? Well, the word sex usually has two different meanings, depending on how it's used in a sentence. All he ever thinks about is sex. In this instance, the word sex actually refers to sexual intercourse, which is the most common definition of the word sex. Sexual intercourse is the physical sexual activity between two people. Other scientific words for sexual intercourse include coitus and copulation. You'll learn more about the process of sexual intercourse later in the course. So now let's take a look at another example of how the word sex is used in context. Please tell me your date of birth, age and sex. In this example, the word sex refers to the male or female label that each of us is assigned at birth. Scientists refer to this as the biological sex and it's based on what genitals and chromosomes a newborn has at birth. If you have a penis and XY chromosomes, you're a male. If you have a vagina and XX chromosomes, you're a female. So biological sex is simple, right? Well, not quite. There's a lot more to being a male or female than the biological sex that you're assigned at birth. Some people are born with a mixture of male and female biological traits that makes it really difficult to be labelled as either male or female. These people are referred to as intersex. According to the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, intersex people do not fit the typical definitions for male or female bodies. For example, some intersex people have both ovaries and testes. Other intersex people have a different combination of chromosomes, like XXY. And some intersex people are born with what looks like totally male or totally female external genitals, but their internal organs or hormones don't match. If you are interested in learning more about intersex, we've provided several web links below this video, so you can explore this topic further. And we've also provided a definition for the word gender and explained how gender is different from biological sex. That's because historically the terms gender and sex have been used interchangeably. But in modern society, we've come to realise that they actually have very different meanings. Keep watching. In the next video, you'll explore the differences between biological sex and gender identity. And you'll hear from Dr. Carol Kaur, a sexual health physician at the Adelaide Sexual Health Centre.